Hey everyone, so today we are going to see a tutorial on Webflux test and web test client. Uh, so basically for this tutorial we are referring how to do in Java. That's a very good site for references, reference purpose. So we are also referring how to do in Java. So let's get started. So here uh, what we are going to do is as in the previous video we have created a project uh, wherein we are uh, using best uh, web uh, client spring web client and making a call to json placeholder uh, dot type i co uh, icode dot com for the uh, for loading the data and we are calling their microservice their services uh, from our endpoint so uh, and uh, for uh, for the mocking purpose we are going uh, since in our case uh, we are having the web uh, from the service itself we are delegating uh, the request to uh, to the json placeholder client uh, placeholder service so in our case uh, we are going to mock uh, through mockito uh, our comment service we are going to mock the comment service uh, through mockito so yeah that's uh, all uh, so fasten your seat belts and enjoy the ride.
so yeah guys here the test case failed because in our case in this case uh, we are hitting uh, create post uh, of uh, spring web service uh, mongodb uh, endpoints which we have created in the first video and uh, they are expecting that that endpoint is actually returning created status but here since we are bypassing it and we are uh, calling it via web test client web client and we have set uh, our endpoint expects only ok status so that's why we need to uh, have the status uh, check as ok instead of create but in our test case we have initially put uh, you know the uh, status as is created so yeah this one we need to set it as is ok then the test case should pass Yeah, so let's run the, te uh, the test cases, all the test cases of this class and see uh, whether it passes or it shows any errors or something. Uh, let's see how, what happens after this. Do, 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 do. Voila, all the test cases are passed. So yeah, so in this tutorial we have seen how we can write the test cases for our controllers via web test client uh, and web test uh, web flux test annotations for reactive spring uh, controllers so yeah guys that's it for this video thanks for uh, being with us So, if you like our work, please like us on uh, YouTube and subscribe uh, to our work. And if you really appreciate our work, please subscribe it, please like it, please share it with your colleagues. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.